got one that can see. Logic before authority. Hi guys, this is Daniel Alexander Cannon here on Logic Before Authority. I am looking at uh, Stellarium. Uh, that's the star mapping software that we have available to us. And what I'm doing is I'm looking, you can see I'm kind of looking at a uh, Virgo back when uh, the sign in the heavens, Revelations sign in the heavens of the woman clothed in the sun. Um, I'm looking at some of these different dates. Um, first, actually, though, this is the date of 8-21-2017 when the eclipse took place. Okay. So, this is the eclipse of that day. And, of course, Virgo lies next to it here with Jupiter in the womb of Virgo. Jupiter was in the womb for nine months. It even went retrograde and started backing up for a while there and then went on out. And... We're also going to look at the eclipse that is coming up on 8 April here because there's something very interesting I want to show you and just get your opinion on, okay? Um, so this, again, this is the date of 821, and uh, I can back the clock up a little bit here. Let's go to right about there because that lines up the eclipse more properly, as you can see. And the eclipse took place in Leo, okay? Right next to the star Regulus. And let's see, what's in the sky here? We've got Venus in the sky. We've got... Jupiter, of course, in the sky. It's right here. We've got Mercury. And we've got... That... Oh, there's Mars. So we've got Venus, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter. And that's the main ones that I see here. So let's remember Jupiter, Mercury, Mars, Venus, and an eclipse takes place on 8-21-2017. Then if we move forward the date, let's go forward one month and two more days. Okay. We then have this sign. We have Venus, we have, what is that right there? That, that's Mars. Okay, so we have Venus, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, of course the sun, and we've got the moon down here at Virgo's feet. Right here. This is the same symbolism right here. And of course, you got Leo up here with all these, with Mercury, Mars, and Venus added to Leo's count of stars in the crown on the head of Virgo. This symbol here is basically the symbol of the Catholic. Uh, Virgin Mary, if you pull her up, Catholic Virgin Mary, you'll see there's a moon under her feet, a crown upon her head, and she's clothed in the sun, and that symbolism is also about a point of creation, or Virgo, or the vagina. If you Google uh, 
Virgin Mary Catholic uh, vagina. And there's nothing profane here that I'm saying. It just is what it is. Oh, and we also got uh, over here Saturn as well. I can see it off to the left here a little bit. So Saturn, the moon, Jupiter, the sun, Mercury, Mars, Venus, all of that lined up on that day. And apparently there was a comet in the sky. Let's look a little closer at that. Something. Let's see what it was. I did not know this. There is a comet in the sky. I just realized that. There is a comet in the sky the day of this sign. Wow. Okay, let's slow things down here for a moment. Let me pull up the Gematria for that comet name. I want to see what I see. Let's see. So M A C H M A C H H O L Z. And I know there's a C in front and also a 96 P. But let's look at this first. So we're talking. Um, I can show you. So let's go down. This is the Jewish version. I'm going to go down and I'm going to look at this. Citizen. I can zoom it up some for you so you can see it a little better. Citizen Pfizer 19 Black Swan Game Over TikTok Disease X Barack Obama Barack Obama Isn't Barack Obama born in like August or September? Let me see. Barack Obama birth date. I know some of you already know this date, but I got too many things on my head. August 4th, 61. August 4th. Born in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so let's go back up here. Barack Obama, Las Vegas, Soros, Nephilim, Hunter, Pyramid, Warning, Johnny, Symbol, Triangle, Misty, Infinite, Red Dragon. Red Dragon? Okay, so the name of the comet matches Red Dragon? Really? Yep. Okay, so let's go back up. Keep in mind, we're talking about sign of the woman clothed in the sun and a dragon was waiting there. Okay. Let's look back through again. Red dragon. There's a red dragon right there. That is I did not know this. This is all new right now this moment. Cyrus, Godzilla, there's another reptile type dragon, god type thing that they created. The Archer, Commander, Tunnel, Tunnel, Saudi Arabia, Alexandria. Let's go one more page just to be curious. Let's go on back down here. Kardashian, uh, Scholar, Spanish, Stalker, Scepter, Scepter's interesting, uh, Waters, uh, Last Chance, um, K, 
Okay, so the most interesting one is dragon, red dragon, obviously, because that's literally the words in the in the in the verse that's spoken of it, or the scripture that speaks of it. So let's almost open that up and save it here, so that I can easily reference it. Let's go back up on this one. So there you have the name of the comet matching Red Dragon. Okay, back to Stellarium. Did y'all guys know there was a comet in the heavens the day of this sign? I do not remember this being discussed. And what I said in my last Supernatural show, um, I discussed the Gematrias were related around the word comet and semen, which is we're talking the essence of, we're talking symbolism, because a comet looks like that. And what does the dragon spew? The dragon spews water. What is the majority of semen? It is water. Why does a penis look like a serpent? There's a reason. All right. We have definitely found something interesting here. Let's uh, let's let's go forward now to the coming. Eclipse. So let's go forward to 2024. Let's back up to 4 and 8. Four and eight. And bam, we have the eclipse. Now let's back out here. Let's turn the sky a little bit if we can. Okay, so now we've got Saturn and Mars over here. We've got Venus, Mercury, Jupiter. The Pleiades will be visible when it goes dark. What is this? All right, now don't lock up on me now. That is Taurus, the star called Taurus or the bull. That's appropriate. Okay. Um, we've got Orion over here to the left. And we've got, as I mentioned several vid videos ago, we've got Ketis, which is considered to be the constellation of the whale or the serpent, the sea beast, or a a.k.a. biblically the red dragon. You know, and of course we have, as most of us know, we have Jupiter up here, right up here, and we've got the comet right here, Hans Brooks, and if we look at Gematria of Pons Brooks, P O N S Brooks, P O N S Brooks. Let's we'll see what we see. This is the Jewish version. Look at there. Second sun. So the comet name that will be in the sky on 8 April when totality happens and it goes dark as midnight because we're going to have a super moon 
during this eclipse. Last eclipse, we did not have a super moon. It was a smaller moon, about 20% smaller. So therefore, this time, that comet matches second sun. I find that fascinating. Fascinating indeed. Let's look on down here. We've got the matches for the comet name are Mark of the Beast. The time has come. Sagittarius, 44. That's significant. King Solomon, war in Ukraine. And y'all guys can see, so I'm not going to read all of them. Alien invasion. I find that interesting. All these are interesting and tied in in one way or another to what's going on. Time after time, the secret key. It is depicted in... Masonic symbolism that a a comet brings keys and vows to open things. Seriously, I might be able to find it real quick. Let me see. Mason Mason, I can't see the keyboard. Mason Comet Symbolism. Let's look at. Let's look at some images. See if I see one of the ones that I've seen before that I can show you real quick. I'm not sure if I will, but we we're looking. Okay, I have them on my phone, actually. Images of Masonic symbolism with a comet bringing keys, like as if it was an angel to open a bottomless pit or something like that. You know, I'm not kidding. And no, I'm not making this stuff up. I just don't see what I'm looking for here. Let's get rid of the word meaning. Let's just pull it like that and see if that changes anything. Obviously, we see one here, but it's not showing the keys and stuff. Let's click on that and see if it brings up something else over here that rings a bell on some of my other research. Mm. Not really. I'm just kind of doing this live with you today. This painting has a comet built into it. This is a famous Masonic symbol, Masonic painting. It has a comet embedded in it that they found. Uh, let's look on down a little bit more and see if I see. I'm not sure why I can't find what I found the other day easily. Um, I don't think this is. What I'm looking for. Apparently not. Let me go painting. We don't find it here in a second. I'll move on. Freemason. Freemason. Okay. Now we might be getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. I 
Okay, let's just look at let's look at this one for a second. Let's see if I see a comet depicted anywhere here. And I do over here on this left hand side. See it? Right there. A blazing star. That just reminded me. Freemason. Freemason. Blazing. Star. Comet. Let's just look at images. <clears throat> There's another one showing the comet right there. I've seen some that showed where they showed the comet bringing keys and vowels, you know. Painting. Mm. Mm. It was kind of even done in symbolism, kind of like this, of it being a stairway, and the keys and the vowels were being passed down the stairs by an angel. And I'm not saying that means everything or anything, but I do find it curious as I continue to be a watcher and to analyze with the best capability I have, God given to me, the things that I can. Okay. All right. Let's go back to Ponds Brook. I'm Kapoor. Time after time, this is the Gematria Twin Dragons. Twin dragons. Okay, I find that very interesting as well. Now we're going to come down. Let's see where are we at. Oh, we're already in the Pondsbrook. Pondsbrook. Okay, that's the name of our comet. President Biden that it matches. Scientology twin dragons. All these other things, including alien invasion. Well, that'd make a good time for an alien invasion, wouldn't it? And of course, Mark of the Beast, I think, is highly significant because it is a mark. It even makes a mark in the sky, in the heavens. So very interesting. All right, let's come back over here. There's our comet. It's to the right. It'll be to the right and just above likely Jupiter, which is going to be able to be seen even before totality in the heavens. So let's back back out here so we can see a little better. Now, here's one of the interesting things that I really wanted to show you. So if you're still around, you get to see this. Um, let's back out. Let's look at when you go through the hours, I'm going to back up for a little bit. Watch where the sun and the moon, but mainly the sun, stays, the line that it stays on. You see this line right here? This is the, this is Pisces, okay? The fish. You know how Christ was uh, 
connected with the fish, the fishers, right? He makes you a fisher of men. And that's what he's made me, a fisher of men. So if you watch the sun, it's going to stay on this line throughout the whole day, of course. It moves basically perfectly with it. Let me back out some more so we can see. Let's go back a few hours. You see, the sun is staying right on the line of Pisces, on the what's considered to be the fishing line or the line, the fisher of men sign. You understand what I'm showing you here? Hey, let's back up one more hour. One more. Before sunrise. Come into the day. This is daylight, even though it looks dark. This is daylight. And the sun and the moon come across. Stays right on that line, on the fisherman line. So it's fisher of men, but what it's talking about is souls. It's talking about being a disciple, someone who is teachable, and so that you can go out and teach others and become a fisher of men, just like Christ was. So it comes across, and moving on down over here, stays right on the line perfectly. And then it's going to set. You see there? Stays right on that line. Personally, I find that important. As with a lot of things. But I find that important. And where is this comet at currently it's in uh, basically basically in Aries the foot of Aries Aries the goat or the sheep which is appropriate that is appropriate Here's the Taurus, the bull. All right. So, and don't forget the sign of Jonas. I mean, I don't know what else you would need. You got Kedis here, which means the whale, the sea serpent the red dragon biblically then you've got the devil's comet and you got the sun and the moon eclipsing on the line of the fisher of men sign all very interesting if you want to read because I've find something else interesting <coughs> is today is ahead of um, Easter and it was ahead of the crucifixion and this is the day uh, coming into the day of when uh, when the Last Supper was and you've got John 13, 1, Luke 22, 7, Mark 14, 12, and Matthew 26, 17 that go through the description of that whole process. And it's loaded with interesting things that are related to exactly what's going on right now. And I think you will find it very interesting. 
I'm not going to read it all right now because I probably kept y'all guys long enough for this. It's supposed to have been just a quick video. But uh, I probably will be reading some of it. But I'm studying it right now. Just to read it don't mean nothing. Or doesn't necessarily doesn't mean nothing. But it, it you have to study it. And I can study a, a verse for a day sometimes. Or longer. So... With that being said, I'm going to let y'all guys go. Um, I appreciate y'all guys' support. And uh, I'm very thankful and humbled that I'm able to do this and tell the truth and work for our Father and be able to survive. So I appreciate y'all guys. And we'll talk to you again very soon. If you're new to this channel, you can go. I also have a channel called The Supernatural Show. And my website is called The Supernatural Dot Show. The Supernatural Dot Show. Um, so check that out if you have not. And we'll talk to you again here real soon. This has been Daniel Alexander Cannon here on Logic Before Authority. I've got one that can see. Logic Before Authority.